Ron, why are worm castings a good start and an important part of a healthy soil? Well, everybody knows, now people know a lot more. Everybody tries to compost and do this and do that. You know, we want to do this, we want to put our materials out there and stuff. But our composting is extremely limited. You have to understand when we produce compost in our yards, mm -hmm. how much food waste and grass waste we actually produce when postage shop lines and make mansions cover the thing. Mm -hmm. So it's very hard to produce enough compost, seed free, in order to achieve the goals we want. A logical way to get the material you need to get the microbes back into the soil is have somebody else send it to you already done. I mean, you don't even have to worry about weeds and stuff like that. You know, no one has the time to do this kind of stuff on a large scale like we do. So if you pick up you know, the circle organics castings and things like that, they have the microbes ready, they have the humus ready, they have the calcium ready on there, and they have a plethora of life already in the bag soil. So instead of the labor that you spend trying to turn your compost pile stuff, and I'm not saying don't do that, it's a wonderful thing to do, right. but you would benefit your compost pile by adding the castings to them. Why not piggyback the microbes and do it right if you're going to do it? But this is ready to go and you can get a jump start. You can, you know, the more that your soil recuperates and the faster that it recuperates, the more you can do with your soil. Maybe you can put a little food plot in there quicker because have you ever tried to grow, grow tomatoes in clay soil? Yes. Well, how long do they last? <laughs> in Georgia, clay, yeah. not too long. You know, it's so bad that, that you know, the, the, the caterpillars that eat the worms don't even want to eat them. You know, they just don't want to. Tomato worms aren't interested. So castings are a great amendment to the soil. And I guess the advantage is you can't overuse them? No, cannot. They, they work on a system called feedback regulation. When it's available, when the microbes are available and the need is there, that's it, they go to town. If not, they just wait until somebody to do it. Now you keep saying microbes, microbes. Mm -hmm. Give me a good description of microbes. Uh, microscopic animals that govern the soil, they live, uh, they live in the soil just like we live on the earth and stuff like that. They don't do any damage. They, they process food, they break soil down, they make minerals available for larger things. I, I told you a little before and stuff like that, there's two concepts. One of them was that we're all made of soil, mm -hmm. and people don't believe that. So, um, what are your bones made of? Bone marrow? No, the bone outside of the calcium. Skin? Calcium. And where do you get calcium from? <laughs> milk. Milk. Right. Doesn't where's buy milk? good. Where does milk come from? <laughs> cows. Where do, what do cows eat? I'm doing pretty good here. Grass. Right. Where's grass grow? Out in the field. Right. Soil. Right. So that you know, all flesh is soil. You have to understand that concept. I'm, we're that tightly linked. I've never really thought about it. Like no, that. we're that tightly linked. We really are. You know, people have.